a very pleasant morning to all my lovely students hope you all are fine once again i am here with you for your history lesson the harappan civilization in part 1 we have studied about what civilization is the four ancient civilizations the origin of the harappan civilization the sources of the harappan civilization and the extent of the harappan civilization now in part 2 today i am going to teach you about the chief features of the harappan civilization so to begin with the very first feature of the harappan civilization is the urban planning the harappan civilization's most important feature is its town planning each and every town of the valley was divided the city was divided into two parts the citadel and the lower town coming to the first point of the city planning the streets and the lanes the streets were straight and intersected each other at right angles dividing the city into several large rectangular blocks fire burnt bricks were used for paving the streets street corners were rounded in order to make the movement of heavy carts now coming to the second point is the drainage system these were channels of water supply drainage and granaries paved bathrooms and sewage all the waste water from the house drains were emptied into street drains such an advanced sewage system was one of the most distinguishing feature of the harappan cities each house coming to the third the buildings and the houses each house had a courtyard and the kitchens were generally placed in a covered corner of the courtyard the buildings were made of brick and wood all the houses had a good ventilation system and spacious rooms and bathrooms now the contribution of the harappans to architecture is evident from the two magnificent public buildings and these were the great bath and the granary coming to the first one the great bath it was one of the largest and most significant structure the water for the great bath was supplied by a well situated nearby pool The pool was made watertight with burnt bricks and mortar. The great bath may have been used as a religious ritualistic. The granaries were found at four different sites: Harappa, Mohenjo-daro, Lothal, and Kalibangan. There were working floors which consisted of circular bricks platforms. These floors were used for threshing grains. The granaries had proper ventilation to store and prevent the grains from becoming mildewed. Coming to the next point, the art and craft. The artistic skill of the Harappans are reflected in some of the pieces of art found in the excavation, such as stone statues, seals, and terracotta. The first one, the dancing girl. This statue shows a girl in a dancing posture with the right hand resting on her hip. This piece of art is made of bronze through a special method. The next one, the bearded man. This stone sculpture shows a man with a trimmed beard, half closed eyes and with a shawl wrapped around his shoulder. The third one, the terracotta figures. The Harappans used fire-baked clay or terracotta to make toys and objects of worship. Coming to the seals, figures of animals and human beings were engraved on seals. From these seals, we get to know about the dress, hairstyle, and ornaments of the people of Indus Valley civilization. 
Now we come to the third point, the economic life of the people. In this, we will come to know about the dress the people used to wear in those days, the ornaments they used to wear, the food they used to eat, and about the occupation of the Indus Valley people. Coming to the very first point, the dress and the ornaments. The Indus Valley people were the first in the world to spin cotton and woolen yarn. They preferred loose dresses. Men used to wear dhoti and a shawl. The women wore a type of skirt and wrapped a shawl around their shoulders. Men and women both were very fond of ornaments. Necklaces, fillets, armlets and finger rings were common to both men and women. Coming to the food, the people of Indus Valley people ate wheat and barley. They ground these in milestones and baked them into bread. Rice too was a part of their food. Coming to the occupation, agriculture was the most important occupation of the people of Indus Valley civilization. Domestication of animals was another occupation of the people. Oxen, bulls, sheep, buffaloes and elephants were domesticated Camels and asses were used as the beast of burden. Coming to the fourth point, religion of the Indus Valley people. In this, we will come to know what were the religious practices of the people of Indus Valley. They worshipped Mother Goddess or the Shakti and Lord Shiva or the Pashupati of later Hinduism. Beside these, they also worshipped trees, animals and birds. They also believed in life after death. So they buried their dead and placed other articles with the dead body. Coming to the fifth point, the end of the Indus Valley Civilization. Around 1800 BC, the Indus Valley Civilization came to a sudden end. Nothing certain can be said about the reason of this sudden end. It is all a guesswork that maybe this civilization came to an end due to a natural calamity or an earthquake or devastating fluid or deforestation. The Harappan culture has thus left an inevitable mark on the history of India. Thank you children and keep smiling.